Welcome to Mid-South Flavor. I'm Jay. We're fixing to make some smoked pork steaks. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy cooking, grilling, or pretty much anything food related, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss anything. It's cold today, but I decided we needed another grill or another smoker video. So yeah, that's what we're doing today with these smoked pork steaks. Pretty much all we need for this is our pork steaks, some apple juice to spritz on it, and some of this barbecue seasoning, this special rub. I'm gonna start off by giving these steaks a little spritz with this apple juice. And this is basically just to give this rub something to kind of bind to so yeah just a little bit of spray here don't have to be much and that's pretty good okay next we're going to use this rub uh, this is just a special rub that we have that we'll talk about more later but yeah just choose a barbecue rub that you like and we're just going to give these steaks a good coat on both sides with this rub Go ahead and pat it in a little bit. Flip them over and do the other side. Now that we have these pork steaks coated good on both sides, we're fixing to put them over onto the pellet grill. Today we're cooking on the Camp Chef pellet grill. I've got apple pellets in this thing and I've got it on high smoke. The high smoke setting pretty much fluctuates in between like 180 up to 215 degrees, somewhere through there. It basically just gives me the most smoke uh, that I can get out of this grill. There's a high smoke and then there's a low smoke for a lower temperature, but um, I usually cook on the high smoke. We're gonna put these over on here for about a couple hours to get a lot of smoke and a lot of color on these steaks. Okay, let's get these steaks onto the grill. Pretty good size, hopefully we can get them all on here. The steaks are on the grill. We're gonna come back in about an hour and spritz it down. I think we're gonna let these go for two hours. I'll let you see how they look then. Uh, then we'll probably wrap them in foil. Okay, it's been three and a half hours and as you can see, these steaks look amazing. The temperature on these are up to right around 135 to 140 degrees. And so we are actually gonna pull these off now and we're gonna put them in foil. We're gonna wrap each one in foil kind of as tightly as we can. And then we're gonna put them back onto the grill for another hour. So let's grab these off the grill and start wrapping in foil. Man, doesn't that look good. Before we wrap it up in full, we're gonna hit it one more time with some of this apple juice. And then we're gonna wrap it as tightly as we can. By the way, I did spritz these steaks with apple juice each hour that they were on the grill. Now we just need to wrap the other five and we'll be good to go. Now that we have all of these wrapped, I'm gonna put them back onto the grill and I'm gonna set the grill up to 250 degrees. So I'll check back with you in an hour. All right, they've been going for another hour, so I'm gonna pull one of these off and check the temperature of it, kind of get an idea of what the temperature's at. Uh, my whole goal is to get these close to about 200 degrees. I like these pork steaks just about falling apart, so if you don't like them you know, quite that well done, that's fine, but I'm gonna check the temperature, see how close it is, and I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce to these, put them back on there to finish up for just a few minutes with barbecue sauce. So let's get one of these off here and check the temperature. Oh my goodness, this smells good. 
Okay, so this one shows to be about 200 to 203 degrees, depending on where I test it at. So yeah, I think it's time to put barbecue sauce on it. Today, I'm just using this Heinz uh, Memphis Sweet and Spicy. I really like this barbecue sauce. And I'll do the other five just like this and put them back onto the grill for about 15 minutes. I don't know if you can see this, but man, I've got a good smoke ring going here with these. Uh, like I said, if you don't want them falling apart, then don't let them get to up to 200 degrees because they'll be falling apart there. But that's the way we like these. So yeah, I'm fixing to give this a taste and see what it's like. Here we go. Mm. Man, this tastes good. Yeah, um, taste a little bit of that apple smoke. Um, along with this barbecue sauce and I really like this seasoning. I told you we'd talk about it more later. It's something that I'm working on that uh, maybe I'll be releasing soon, but uh, yeah, this is some good stuff. And like I said, that smoke ring, that that that's delicious. I love that smoke ring there. And uh, definitely, definitely makes this very flavorful. Yeah, these are hard to beat. I would call this another successful cook. And if you don't want to miss another video like this in the future, make sure that you're subscribed to Mid-South Flavor. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, on the grill or in the kitchen, here in the Mid-South, we do flavor.